Today we're going to take a look at a problem that comes from the Practice of Statistics 4th edition. Um, a soda company has placed special caps on their sodas and they claim that one in every six wins. Uh, so that means for every five caps that say try again, there is one cap that says you win. Uh, you and your six friends open sodas and discover that three of the seven of you have won. Um, you know, you're expecting only one out of six to win, but here we have three out of seven that have won. Is this an unusual event? And what is the probability, probability of three or more people winning in a group of seven people? Well, we're going to take a look at this by using a simulation. Uh, we could just roll a fair six-sided die and say a one is a win and anything other than a one is, is um, try again or a loss. Um, but rolling a, a fair six-sided die seven times just for one, uh, to get at one simulation of this would take a long time if we, if we wanted to say do this a hundred times and here's where Fathom can help us out. So here we can see that I've created a collection um, of caps where we have one winning cap and five losing caps and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample from this set but I don't want to sam sample ten soda bottles I want to sample seven as we have here and I'm going to turn the animation off and I want to replace the five cases or ten cases that we have in here with seven. So let's do this. And it looks like nothing's happening, but let's take a look here. Um, we can see that uh, there was a win, a loss, a win, a win. Oh, there we actually had three, three winning caps out of our, our seven. Um, but to keep track of it this way might be somewhat annoying as well. Um, let's actually take a look at them over here. We can even Look at them here. Oh, nobody won. There's one winner. No winners. No winners. There's three winners. So it's possible to get three winners, right? Well, we want to keep track of how many winners we have. So we're actually going to collect a measure. We'll call it um, number of wins. And we're going to count the number of times the cap result is a W for win. And notice we have a three here, and that's how many wins we had. Check, just checking to make sure it works. Now we, there we have no wins. And so if I go over here, we see that the value of the number of wins is zero. So let's actually collect the count of the number of wins. We had three, we had zero, maybe we'll have a one. All right, so to do that, we are going to collect measures. And we have five measures here. Let's just take a look at them. There we had one win, one win, one win. Just one each time. That's kind of interesting. Well, let's do this again. Let's turn the animation off and we'll replace the existing cases and let's do this a hundred times. So in other words, imagine you and your six friends go and open up soda bottles um, every day for a hundred days. Um, and you keep track of how many times you have uh, three or more wins, or even just how many wins you have for each of those 100 days. That's what this simulation is doing for us. So let's take a look at a graph of this. Graph of the number of wins. So does it look like that three is all that unusual? It happened quite a few times actually um, in the 100 trials. All right, let's do it again. Maybe that was unusual. Let's do this again. We'll replace the existing cases. Oh, we still had three or more happening quite a few times. Not as many times there, but it still happened. There it happened uh, five times. Oh, here we even had one time where five people out of the seven won. So what do you think? Do you think that this is an unusual event? It's quite possible that it could happen. Um, here we can see that in our 100 trials it happened uh, 11 times, so 11% of the time. Is 11% of the time all that unusual? Um, and of course, the other question we might ask ourselves is, what if rather than just doing 100 measures, we did uh, 500 or 1,000? Or what if we could actually do this an infinite number of times? Uh, what uh, is the actual theoretical probability, um, not just experimental probability, but what is the theoretical probability that you would have three or more wins? And that is something called binomial probability, and you'll probably be taking a look at that at some point in the near future.